The third way which is available to us for milking on Shabbat is milking automatically. There is this milking machine. You hook the cow up to a machine, and then the Sha'on Shabbat, the, the time clock opens it up, and the milking proceeds by machine, but without real human intervention. This, uh, this uh, heter was uh, expanded upon and dealt with in great detail by the Chazunish, who determined exactly how it was possible to milk a cow on Shabbat using the automatic milking machines. Of course, the milk that is milked on Shabbat the milk that's milked on Shabbat in this way is muktzin. I mean, you can't use it. You can't drink it. You can't take it anywhere. Uh, that's uh, clear until after Shabbat. And so, in Yerushalayim, for example, in Yerushalayim or in Eretz Yisrael, where they want milk, I want to buy milk that's mahadrin. So mahadrin means that there were no questions. No questions came up about this milk. And uh, this milk was not milked on Shabbat in an unacceptable manner. Everybody understands that in Eretz Yisrael there are many, um, there are many places where cows are milked. Not all the people are concerned about the niceties of Shabbat. But in Yerushalayim, as an example, people want milk that is mahadrin, that is untainted, that doesn't have a problem, even if the problem is not a real problem. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't drink the milk that was milked on Shabbat, as long as, of course, you wait until after Shabbat. I'm not saying that. But in Yerushalayim, mahadrin milk usually means that on the religious kibbutzim, for example, the kibbutzim of the Beit She'an, where there are milking cows, they hook the cow up to an automatic milking machine. That milking machine transfers again automatically the milk into some sort of a refrigerator, some sort of a large refrigerator unit. And then on Motza a Shabbat, after Shabbat is over, uh, the tankers come and take the milk to Yerushalayim so that the milk that's served in Yerushalayim, that you could buy in Yerushalayim, that's called Mahadrin milk, means that the milk was milked on Shabbat in a permissible, in a permissible manner. In Chutzlaretz, in the diaspora, this is not such a big problem because most of the milking and most of the cows and most of this uh, uh, enterprise belongs to non-Jews. So non-Jews, they, they can milk their own cows on Shabbat, they can drive the milk to wherever they drive it, and wherever you buy it, that's just fine. So we've learned that there are three acceptable ways of milking cows on Shabbat, right? That the first ac acceptable way is if you milk such that the milk goes to waste, the second is if you milk using a non-Jew, and the third is if you use an automatic milking process. In Chutzlaretz, as we said, there's not such a great problem because generally people who own the cows and milk the cows are non-Jews. But of course that brings us to another problem that is connected to, uh, to milk, and that is Chalav Akum, which we will talk about in the succeeding days.